when the young players come in, the young recruits, you have an almost paternal feeling towards them. You want to take them under your wing. But there's always one bloke that'll walk through that room and you look at him and you go, hmm, not sure he's going to need too much help from me. And that was my first thoughts when I saw David Meats wander into the football club. Kicks inside the 50. Guess who? His first year of senior football, played centre-half forward, centre-half back, and as an All-Australian within a couple of years. And Wayne Carey is on record as saying if he's not the most difficult opponent that he played against, then he's in the top handful. And, well, that's the ultimate. Neats, the bounce beats him. Miller's a chance at the back, lays the shepherd. Neats from a long way. Curling ball, right through the middle. His greatest attribute, I think, was his sense of team. He was prepared to do whatever it took for the betterment of the team. And I think his consistency of effort is the other thing that I love. It didn't matter who we were playing, what stage of the game it was, whether we were up, whether we were down. His attack on the footy was uncompromising. He was tough and he got genuine effort every single time and you can't want much more from a footy player than that. Spears the pass to Neats. I don't think he was ever an elite runner. I can't ever remember him being up the front with the Jimmy Steinses of the world and Andy Lovells. But I do remember him being an elite man in the gym. And I think after about a year or two, he realised that the frame was always going to look pretty good if he worked hard in the gym. And I think that appealed to him. I mean, every time you're doing a warm-up, you look down, it, the eyes were sort of rolling a bit. He was getting himself up for the contest. And others that can be new age now and they can play their music and all that bullshit, and that's great. But I love the fact that he had the eyes rolling a bit and worked himself to a point where he was physically ill and then he'd just wipe it off the back of his hand and say, right, huh? let's go. I love that about him. Loney reaching over the top, Neats at the back. Too easy, got away from Wakeland, snaps and kicks a goal. What a beauty, the skipper. There's a famous game here, a Luke McCabe game. And Luke McCabe was a, was a good little player, good, honest, tough player for Hawthorne, but he's famous within Melbourne circles because David Neats cleaned him up down in that forward pocket. It was too hot, McCabe. Oh, oh his pass is running through. The big man, David Neats, lead from the front, what a goal. It's firing football by the Demons. He came out and hit him that hard, broke his collarbone, spun out, broke a couple of tackles and kicked a goal. And I think that's when just stamped himself as a, the absolute leader of this football club. Left nothing behind. He has eight for goal number nine. He's got it. Needs a nine. He was lion-hearted. He tried his heart out. He was courageous. He was tough. And when you're going into battle, if you want to use that as a term, then you want those sort of people with you. Tight situation. We thought an impossible angle. But nothing is impossible for the moment for the team. Skipper. You know, we're here at the MCG, at the greatest footy stadium in the world. Melbourne Footy Club's the oldest footy club, certainly the oldest in the AFL, and David Neats holds the record as having played more games than anyone else, having kicked more goals and having captained the club on more occasions. So it's a pretty rarefied here. But this, for the Melbourne goals record. Ah, you beauty. He is absolutely worthy of this fantastic honour, the greatest individual honour you can be afforded in footy and for Melbourne supporters they will tell you that life's been pretty tough to follow a team that hasn't had the ultimate success since 1964 so they have vicariously had to enjoy their successes through some unbelievable individual performances in that time and they've been able to enjoy the unbelievable work of Robbie Flower they've lived it through Jim Steins and they now have been able to live through David Neeks as well they are three of the greats, the modern greats of this game, and Nietzsche absolutely deserves his place among them.